Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s Channel. In today's video, we will explore a special list of 35 old Hollywood stars who tragically died far too young. From talented actors, legendary singers, to influential cultural figures, their departures might leave you deeply moved. Before we dive in, make sure you've hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on the glamorous lives of these celebrities. Let's get started. Number 35. Natalie Wood was born on July 20, 1938, in San Francisco, California. Widely known for roles in films like Miracle on 34th Street, Rebel Without a Cause, and West Side Story, Wood left an indelible mark with her pure beauty and talent from a young age. A beloved star of Hollywood in the 1950s and 1960s. On November 29, 1981, Natalie Wood tragically passed away in a mysterious incident while on a boat trip with her husband and actor Christopher Walken. Despite numerous conspiracy theories surrounding her death, the case remains unresolved, marking a dark moment in cinematic history and leaving fans mourning the loss of a young talent. Number 34. Virginia Rapp, born on July 7, 1895, in Chicago, Illinois, had minor roles in silent Hollywood films like The Isle of Love and Paradise Garden. However, she is most remembered for her mysterious death. In September 1921, at the age of 26, Rapp passed away after sustaining severe internal injuries at a party. The incident led to a sensational trial involving actor Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, who was accused but later found innocent, casting a shadow over Hollywood's ethics at the time. Rapp's death and the related trial sparked a major scandal in 1920s Hollywood, symbolizing the tragic fate of young girls pursuing dreams in the film industry. Number 33. Montgomery Clift. Born on October 17, 1920, in Omaha, Nebraska, Montgomery Clift gained fame through roles in films like Red River and A Place in the Sun. Despite a successful career, Clift faced a serious car accident in the 1950s, leading to significant physical and emotional challenges. On July 23, 1966, Clift passed away at the age of 45 due to a heart attack at his New York home. His sudden death shocked colleagues and fans, but Clift's legacy endures through timeless films and a lasting impact on modern culture. Number 32. Sharon Tate, born on January 24, 1943, in Dallas, Texas, gained recognition for her roles in films like Valley of the Dolls and The Fearless Vampire Killers. A promising star in late 1960s Hollywood, Tate's career met a tragic end. On August 9, 1969, while pregnant and nearing childbirth, Sharon Tate and four others were brutally murdered in a terrorist attack at her Los Angeles home. Known as the Charles Manson Family Murders, the incident sent shockwaves through society and the entertainment industry marking the end of Hollywood's golden era and a significant loss for the film world. Despite her brief life, Sharon Tate left a lasting impression on the screen. Number 31. Lon Chaney, born on April 1, 1883, in Colorado, is best known for his roles in silent horror films like The Hunchback of Notre Dame and The Phantom of the Opera. Chaney, famous for his transformative face and emotive acting, passed away on August 26, 1930, at the age of 47 due to throat cancer in Los Angeles. Chaney's death at the pinnacle of his career was a great loss to colleagues and adoring fans. He remains a legendary figure in silent horror cinema, earning the nickname, The Man of a Thousand Faces, for his exceptional ability to transform. His iconic roles continue to inspire generations of actors.
Number 30. Carmen Miranda, born on February 9, 1909, in Marco de Canaveses, Portugal, is most recognized for her iconic image with a fruit basket hat in films like That Night in Rio and The Gang's All Here. In addition to acting, Miranda was a renowned singer in the samba genre, earning her the title of the Queen of Samba. On August 5, 1955, Carmen Miranda passed away suddenly at the age of 46 due to a heart attack at her home. Her death shocked the artistic community and fans alike. Carmen Miranda left a strong legacy with her glamorous and lively image, bringing Latin music and dance closer to American audiences. Her hits, such as Chica Chica Boom Chic, continue to be beloved for decades. Number 29. Carl Alfalfa, Switzer, born on August 7, 1927, in Paris, Illinois, became widely known for his role as Alfalfa in the Our Gang short film series from 1935 to 1940, one of the most memorable child characters of that era. After the golden era with Our Gang, Switzer's acting career struggled, and he faced challenges in both his profession and personal life. Unfortunately, on January 21, 1959, Carl Switzer passed away at the age of 31 during a confrontation in California. The event shocked the public, leading Alfalfa to fall into obscurity for a period. Despite his short-lived career, Alfalfa left a lasting impact on the childhood memories of many. The image of the boy with a cowlick and a high-pitched voice remains a nostalgic symbol for numerous individuals. Number 28. James Dean, born on February 8, 1931, in Marion, Indiana, gained widespread recognition for his roles in the iconic films East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause, and Giant. With a natural and emotional acting style, Dean quickly became a symbol of teenage rebellion for the youth of that era. Tragically, on September 30, 1955, James Dean passed away in a car accident in California while driving his Porsche 550 Spider. Despite his brief career, Dean left a profound impact on contemporary audiences with his innovative acting style. Number 27. Leslie Howard was born on April 3, 1893, in London, England. He is best known for his role as Ashley Wilkes in the Oscar-winning film, Gone with the Wind, directed by Victor Fleming in 1939. In addition, he also participated in other famous films such as Pygmalion and Romeo and Juliet. On June 1, 1943, while on a flight from Lisbon to London, the plane carrying Leslie Howard was shot down over the Celtic Sea. All 17 passengers and crew on board, including Leslie Howard at the age of 50, perished. His sudden departure shocked the public and colleagues. Despite his brief acting career, Leslie Howard left a deep imprint with his sophisticated and profound performances. He was highly praised for his subtle and profound acting skills. Even though decades have passed, Leslie Howard's legacy continues to live on through his outstanding artistic works. Number 26. Judy Garland was born on June 10, 1922, in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. She is most famous for her role as Dorothy in the classic musical film, The Wizard of Oz, directed by Victor Fleming in 1939. Additionally, Judy starred in many other successful musical films such as Meet Me in St. Louis, Easter Parade, and Summer Stock. On June 22, 1969, Judy passed away at the age of 47 due to an overdose of sleeping pills at her home in London. Her death was a major shock to fans and the public. Before her passing, Judy struggled with drug addiction and mental stress throughout her career. After Judy's death, thousands of fans attended her funeral in New York. Many artists and actors expressed deep condolences for Judy's sudden departure. 
She left a legacy as one of the greatest musical stars in cinema, praised for her outstanding singing and versatile acting. Hits like Over the Rainbow are still beloved to this day. Number 25. Jean Seberg was born on November 13, 1938, in Marshalltown, Iowa. She became an icon of style and free spirit in the 1960s. Jean Seberg gained fame through her leading role in the film, Breathless, a work by director Jean-Luc Godard. She also participated in other film projects such as, St. Joan, and, Paint Your Wagon. In addition to her acting career, Jean Seberg was known for her free-spirited lifestyle and involvement in anti-war and civil rights activities. However, Seberg's life also contained much turmoil and personal tragedy. Jean Seberg passed away on August 30, 1979, at the age of 40. Her decomposing body was found wrapped in a blanket in the back seat of her Renault car, parked near her apartment in the 16th arrondissement. Her death was seen as a tragedy and sparked controversy. Jean Seberg is remembered for her outstanding acting career and as an icon of freedom and artistic independence in cinema. Number 24. Judy Tyler was born on October 9, 1932, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She is known for her roles in films such as, Bop Girl Goes Calypso, and, Jailhouse Rock. However, Judy Tyler is most remembered for her sudden death. On July 3, 1957, just a few days after marrying actor John Derrick, the couple was involved in a serious car accident that claimed Judy's life at the age of 24. Her death, occurring as her career was on the rise, was a regrettable loss for colleagues and fans. Despite her short-lived career, Judy Tyler left an impression with her pure beauty and promising acting talent. She is considered Hollywood's ill-fated bride. Number 23. Gail Russell was born on September 21, 1924, in Chicago, Illinois. She became known for her roles in films like The Uninvited and Our Hearts Were Young and Gay. With her elegant appearance and expressive eyes, Gail Russell became one of the most beloved stars of 1940s Hollywood. However, Russell's career declined due to severe alcohol addiction. On August 26, 1961, at the age of 36, Gail passed away from acute liver damage caused by alcohol abuse. Her solitary death saddened fans deeply and highlighted the pressures many stars faced in the entertainment industry. Gail Russell's artistic legacy persists through the outstanding works she contributed to. Number 22. John Gilbert was born on July 10, 1899, in Logan, Utah. He was best known for his roles in silent films such as The Big Parade, Flesh and the Devil, and Queen Christina. With his handsome appearance and emotionally charged acting style, Gilbert was considered the king of Hollywood in the 1920s. However, his career declined as silent films transitioned to talkies. Gilbert's hoarse voice made him less popular, and on January 9, 1936, at the age of 38, he passed away from a heart attack, shocking colleagues and fans alike. John Gilbert left a profound impact on Hollywood with his timeless performances during the silent film era. His career serves as evidence of the harsh realities of the film industry. Number 21. Linda Darnell was born on October 16, 1923, in Dallas, Texas. 
She became known for her roles in films like My Darling Clementine, A Letter to Three Wives, and Unfaithfully Yours. With her captivating beauty and acting talent, Linda Darnell was one of the leading stars of 1940s Hollywood. However, her career gradually declined in the 1950s. On April 10, 1965, Linda Darnell passed away in a house fire at the age of 41 in Glenview, Illinois. Her tragic death deeply shocked fans. Despite her early departure, Linda Darnell left an admirable legacy in cinema with many classic works. She remains a timeless beauty icon of Golden Age Hollywood. Number 20. Jane Mansfield was born on April 19, 1933, in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. She gained fame for her roles in films like The Girl Can't Help It and Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter. Known for her alluring appearance and voluptuous figure, Mansfield became an iconic sex symbol of 1950s cinema. In addition to her acting career, she drew attention for her tumultuous lifestyle, scandals, and complex romantic relationships. On June 29, 1967, Mansfield tragically died in a horrific car accident at the age of 34, while at the peak of her career. Her sudden demise shocked and shook the media. Despite her relatively short career, Jane Mansfield left a strong imprint through her artistic contributions and unique personal events, serving as an icon of the era and entertainment culture of that time. Number 19. Alan Ladd was born on September 3, 1913, in Hot Springs, Arkansas. He is known for his roles in films such as This Gun for Hire, The Glass Key, and Shane. With his handsome appearance and powerful acting, Alan Ladd became one of the leading actors of Hollywood from the 1940s to the 1950s. However, his career began to decline in the 1960s. On January 29, 1964, Alan Ladd passed away due to a combination of sleeping pills and alcohol. It was reported that Ladd suffered from chronic insomnia and often used sleeping pills and alcohol to aid his sleep. Although he did not use any deadly dosage of these substances, the combination evidently interacted and led to his death. His departure shocked the film industry, but Alan Ladd's artistic legacy continues to be remembered through the excellent works he left behind. Number 18. Edie Sedgwick was born on April 20, 1943, in Santa Barbara, California. She is known for her roles in films directed by Andy Warhol, such as Vinyl, Poor Little Rich Girl, and Beauty Number no. 2. With her elegant appearance and carefree lifestyle, Sedgwick became an icon of fashion and art in the 1960s. However, she struggled with severe drug and alcohol abuse. On November 16, 1971, Edie Sedgwick passed away at the age of 28 due to a barbiturate overdose in Santa Barbara. Her death was mourned by fans and those in the underground scene. Despite her short-lived career, Edie Sedgwick left an indelible mark with her unique lifestyle and fashion sense, paving the way for later fashion icons. Number 17. Conrad Veidt was born on January 22, 1893, in Potsdam, Germany. He was widely known for his roles in German silent films such as The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, The Thief of Baghdad, and The Man Who Laughs. He is considered one of the greatest German actors of the silent film era. In January 1943, while enjoying great fame in Hollywood, Conrad Veidt suddenly passed away at the age of 50 due to a heart attack. His death caused great sorrow among colleagues and audiences. Conrad Veidt left behind a rich artistic legacy with iconic characters in the history of world cinema. His unique acting talent remains a model for horror film actors. He was a phenomenon in both German and Hollywood cinema.
Number 16. Veronica Lake was born on November 14, 1922, in Brooklyn, New York. She is known for her roles in films such as, Sullivan's Travels, This Gun for Hire, and The Blue Dahlia. With her shining blonde hair and dreamy eyes, Veronica Lake became an icon of 1940s Hollywood. However, her career gradually declined in the 1950s due to psychological issues and substance abuse. On July 7, 1973, Veronica Lake passed away from acute cirrhosis of the liver at the age of 50. Her departure truly saddened her fans. Nevertheless, Veronica Lake still left a deep imprint on the screen with her captivating beauty and unique personality. Number 15. Sal Minea was born on January 10, 1939, in the Bronx, New York. He was known for his roles in films such as, Rebel Without a Cause, Exodus, and Giant. Mineo gained fame as a child actor and became one of the most promising young stars in Hollywood in the 1950s. In addition to acting, Mineo was involved in directing and film production. However, his career did not sustain success beyond the golden era, Sal Mineo was murdered by a robber just outside his home in West Hollywood, California, at the age of 37. His death was shocking in the entertainment industry and remains one of Hollywood's famous criminal cases. Despite his relatively early demise, Sal Mineo left a memorable mark during the golden age of Hollywood cinema. Number 14. Roscoe, Fatty, Arbuckle was born on March 24, 1887, in Smith Center, Kansas. He was widely known for his silent film comedies like The Butcher Boy, Fatty and Mabel Adrift, and Coney Island. With his hefty figure and natural comedic talent, Arbuckle was one of the first legends of film comedy. However, his career collapsed after the mysterious death of actress Virginia Rapp in 1921, for which he was accused. Following a series of scandals and moral controversies, Arbuckle never regained his reputation. He passed away from a heart attack in 1933, at the age of 46. Nevertheless, he left a significant legacy in the history of world comedy films. Despite personal controversies, Arbuckle is remembered as a rare talent in the early days of Hollywood cinema. Number 13. Carol Landis was born on January 1, 1919, in Fairchild, Wisconsin. She is known for her roles in films like, Moon Over Miami, I Wake Up Screaming, and, Four Jills in a Jeep. With her beautiful appearance and laughing eyes, Landis was one of the leading stars of Hollywood in the 1940s. However, her tumultuous personal life and struggles with addiction led to a gradual decline in her career. On July 5, 1948, at the age of 29, she passed away due to a drug overdose at her home. Her death was a cause of sorrow for colleagues and fans alike. Despite leaving early, Carol Landis left behind impressive roles and served as a model for the carefree and adventurous lifestyle of women in that era. She remains an enduring symbol of beauty in the world of cinema. Number 12. Kathy O'Donnell was born on July 6, 1923, in Siloria, Alabama. She is known for her roles in films like They Live by Night and The Miniver Story. With her graceful appearance and natural acting style, O'Donnell was a promising star of Hollywood in the 1940s. However, her career did not reach great heights and gradually declined from the mid-1950s. On April 11, 1970, Kathy O'Donnell passed away at the age of 46 due to cancer. 
Her death was a cause of regret for losing a talent that had not fully shown. Despite a relatively subdued career, Kathy O'Donnell left behind some impressive roles. She was praised for her natural acting and the subtle expression of emotions. Number 11. Romy Schneider was born on September 23, 1938, in Vienna, Austria. She is known for her roles in films like Sissy, Christine, and The Swimming Pool. With her elegant beauty and enchanting acting, Schneider was a leading star in European cinema from the 1960s to the 1970s. However, Schneider constantly struggled with romantic and personal troubles. On May 29, 1982, she passed away suddenly due to a heart attack at the age of 43. Her death stirred public discussion and garnered condolences from a large fan base. Romy Schneider left behind a rich cinematic legacy with strong and bewitching female characters. She remains an icon of beauty and talent in 20th century European cinema. Schneider's sudden departure continues to evoke feelings of regret among many. Number 10. Marilyn Monroe was born on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California. She is widely known for her roles in films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Some Like It Hot, and The Misfits. With her timeless beauty and captivating acting, Marilyn Monroe became an enduring symbol of Hollywood alert. Beyond acting, Marilyn left a lasting impact with her carefree lifestyle and constant personal scandals in the media. On August 5, 1962, she passed away at the age of 36 due to a drug overdose. Monroe's death was shocking and heart-wrenching for global audiences. However, controversies surrounding her death remain a topic of discussion to this day. Despite her untimely departure at the peak of her career, Marilyn Monroe continues to be an iconic figure representing beauty, allure, and the spirit of personal freedom. She remains a cultural phenomenon transcending time. Number 9. Carol Lombard was born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. She is known for her roles in films like My Man Godfrey, Nothing Sacred, and To Be or Not To Be. With her alluring beauty and comedic talent, Carol Lombard was one of the most successful and beloved actresses of 1930s Hollywood. However, her career began to wane while at its peak. On January 16, 1942, Lombard tragically died in a plane crash while returning from a war bond promotional tour in Indiana at the age of 33. Her sudden death shocked the public and was mourned by colleagues and fans alike. Despite her short-lived career, Carol Lombard left a deep imprint with timeless roles. She is remembered for her acting talent and the tragic nature of her sudden departure, highlighting the courage of this actress during Hollywood's golden era. Number 8. Jean Harlow was born on March 3, 1911, in Kansas City, Missouri. She is known for her roles in films like Hell's Angels, Red Dust, and Dinner at Eight. With her platinum blonde hair and dazzling charisma, Jean Harlow became a renowned symbol of glamour in 1930s Hollywood. However, her career existed for only a brief period. On June 7, 1937, Harlow passed away suddenly due to complications from kidney failure at the age of 26. Her sudden death caused a sensation in the entertainment industry and among audiences. Despite a career that lasted only a decade, Jean Harlow left an indelible mark with her sensual and glamorous image. She is remembered as one of the major stars of classic cinema. Number 7. 
George Reeves was born on January 5, 1914, in Woolstock, Iowa. He is best known for his portrayal of the superhero Superman in the popular TV series, Adventures of Superman, from 1952 to 1958. This role marked the pinnacle of Reeves' career. In addition to his iconic TV role, George Reeves appeared in several films such as, Gone with the Wind, and The Blue Gardenia. However, he did not achieve significant success in roles other than Superman. On June 16, 1959, George Reeves passed away at the age of 45 due to a gunshot wound to the head. Although there were suspicions surrounding his death, it was officially ruled as a suicide with unclear circumstances. The public was shocked by the sudden death of the beloved actor known for his portrayal of Superman. Despite not having a highly prominent career beyond Superman, George Reeves left an indelible mark on the younger generation through the iconic character. He was the first to successfully bring the superhero image to the screen, and he remains forever in the hearts of fans as Superman. Number 6. Dorothy Dandridge was born on November 9, 1922, in Cleveland, Ohio. She is known for her roles in films like Carmen Jones, Porgy and Bess, and Tamango. With her talent and beauty, Dandridge became the first African-American actress to be nominated for an Oscar for Best Actress, breaking barriers in Hollywood. However, her career did not reach its full potential due to racial discrimination during that time. On September 8, 1965, Dorothy Dandridge passed away at the age of 42 due to an overdose of antidepressants. Her death was a tragic loss for her colleagues and the African-American community. Dorothy Dandridge left a lasting legacy as a pioneering African-American star who changed Hollywood's perception of race. She remains a monument to art and beauty within the African diaspora. Number 5. Lupe Velez was born on July 18, 1908, in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. She is known for her roles in films like The Gaucho, Hot Pepper, and Mexican Spitfire. With her beautiful appearance, comedic talent, and dancing skills, Lupe Velez was one of the most prominent Latina actresses in 1930s Hollywood. However, her career declined in the 1940s. On December 13, 1944, Velez passed away at the age of 36, reportedly by suicide. Her sudden death shocked the entertainment industry and contemporary media. Despite the tragic circumstances of her death, Lupe Velez left a lasting impact with her charming comedic performances and fiery personality. She was the first successful Latin actress in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations. Number 4. Mabel Normand was born on November 10, 1892, in New York. She was known for her roles in silent films of the early 20th century, such as Mickey, Mabel's Strange Predicament, and Mabel's Lovers. She was one of the most successful comedic actresses of the silent film era. In addition to acting, Mabel Normand was involved in directing and producing several films. She contributed to shaping the image of the funny, pretty girl on screen. Unfortunately, in the 1920s, Mabel Norman's career was affected by personal issues and scandals. She passed away on February 23, 1930, due to tuberculosis and other health problems. Her death, while at the peak of her career, was a shock to the film industry. Mabel Norman left a legacy as one of the finest comedic actresses of the silent film era. Her natural comedic talent is still praised and admired to this day. Number 3. Elvis Presley was born on January 8, 1935, in Tupelo, Mississippi. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest music legends in the world. 
Elvis also appeared in several films such as Love Me Tender, Jailhouse Rock, and Viva Las Vegas with a unique performing style. After his golden years in the 1960s, Elvis's career began to decline in the mid-1970s. On August 16, 1977, Elvis passed away suddenly at the age of 42 at Graceland, Tennessee. His death was a global shock to fans worldwide. Elvis Presley left an invaluable legacy of timeless songs and a unique performing style. He is a cultural phenomenon of the 20th century, often referred to as the king of rock and roll. Number 2. John Garfield was born on March 4, 1913, in New York City. He was one of the outstanding actors of Hollywood in the 1930s and 1940s. John Garfield gained fame through roles in films like Four Daughters and The Postman Always Rings Twice. With exceptional acting skills and a strong presence, he quickly became one of the leading stars of the screen. However, John Garfield's career faced difficulties when he was accused of being associated with political activities in the 1950s. Although he was eventually removed from the blacklist, he still faced pressure from government agencies and the film industry. He passed away on May 21, 1952, at the age of 39. John Garfield left a legacy with significant artistic contributions and is an icon of Hollywood's golden era. Number 1. Tyrone Power was born on May 5, 1914, in Cincinnati, Ohio. He is known for his roles in films like The Mark of Zorro, Blood and Sand, and Prince of Foxes. With his handsome appearance, striking blue eyes, and masculine acting style, Power became one of the most famous film stars of the 1930s to 1940s. On November 15, 1958, Tyrone Power passed away suddenly at the age of 44 while filming Solomon and Sheba in Spain. His unexpected death shocked the entertainment industry and left millions of fans in mourning. Tyrone Power left a deep imprint with a series of successful films. He is an icon of romance and masculinity from the golden era of cinema. To this day, he is remembered as a symbol of charm and talent in Hollywood history. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey back to memories with emotional stories of short-lived stars. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the Hollywood Inside 1960s channel for more captivating stories. Keep following to uncover more secrets, and we look forward to seeing you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.